Good morning, everyone. This is Ranger Rob and Sherry. Hi. It's uh, our Saturday, and uh, you know what we gotta do. Is it a sparkling day in Central Oregon? No, it is not. It's not? No. Why? Because it's cloudy. All right. You heard it. The official call out today. It is not a sparkling day in Central Oregon. So today, <coughs> We gotta get our piggies fed. <clears throat> and then uh, after that, we have no clue what we're doing. We will be doing something. <laughs> <laughs> we will be doing something for sure. See, piggies look like uh, they're behaving themselves. Uh, yep, they're all snoozing, but Belle's trying to fix that problem. So it shouldn't be long before we have running piggies. So, anyway, we'll just get these guys fed. Well, I think today is gonna be probably hay, hay day. The little ones are all getting fed. Sherry's getting everything, nice fresh waters and rinsing bowls out and stuff. And two girls over here are grumpy today. Why are you so grumpy? What's going on? What's wrong, baby? Won't she share? What's she share with you? Huh? Goodness. <laughs> you tell her. Right here. This food right there. Come on. All right. Peace and harmony once again. It's kind of funny. Uh, Sparky's a real slow eater. So, uh, which is kind of nice because it gives the girls a little freedom, but sometimes it's too much freedom. You ever see a pig's tongue? Let's see if I can I'll try to show you. All right, guys, for our first project today, we're actually uh, taking these rods, which show you cut them all in half so they were 48 inches so they're two foot poles and we're using them for Sparky's electrical so what we're doing right now is taking these little um, metal clips on here that will hold the wire on there and stringing them or putting them on these <laughs> little fiberglass rods which is not easy by the way it's taking forever anyway so we got a pile of them here and uh, you can see kind of a kind of a bear to put on but once we get all these on we'll put them into the ground in sparky's cage we'll see how it goes all right guys just give you an idea what we're doing here uh we got these little white stakes in the ground and uh that's to keep the wire and then we have a device here we just put on to uh put a uh spring-loaded holder across the gate for electrical but we had a little technical problem on this side uh, so we got to put another four footer in front of this so we can put the other connector on the other side but other than that we'll see if this will work all right guys so uh we brought an energizer over this is a, a premier 160 energizer uh it's not on right now but we got the wires all around the perimeter of the fence we have a disconnect right here uh and uh we did a electrical test i have these little uh testers right here uh shows that we got about a uh 1.6 little light but this definitely gonna zap them and uh once it gets zapped once, I'm not going to have trouble with Sparky. So, uh, yeah, electrical's ready to go. Today, we got to do hay. So, we'll maneuver his house where we want it, put hay in it, have it all ready for him. And uh, he's about ready to move over here. So, we're thinking about moving him over and maybe letting Zelda. So, we're not sure if Zelda is pregnant or not. We're pretty sure Maggie is. Uh, so, we may bring Zelda over here with him for a couple more weeks 
and then we'd turn her back over with her sister. And then both of those two will move over to the Ferling houses in the next month and a half. So uh, yeah, we're getting there. All right, guys, it's a little later in the day. And I told you I was gonna start talking about cooking a little more. So what we're trying to do is improve our meals and stuff. So it doesn't mean we're going on any diets or anything, but uh, just like when it came to grocery stuff, I picked up a lot more fruit, more yogurts, uh, much, a lot more fruits and stuff. And we know that a lot of times we may not get through it all, but since we have animals, we can, uh, you know, we have chickens if we make too much salad or things like that. Uh, really loaded up on the uh, veggies a lot. And instead of drinking pops and stuff like that, we uh, tried to work harder at doing more juices and stuff like that. And uh, that's kind of what we meant by eating better, but also cooking like better meals. Like today, I'm kind of excited because uh, we're getting ready to, uh... oh, luckily I thought about four. We're gonna cook uh, stuffed peppers uh, tonight. So I bought a couple of different large peppers and we're using some of our uh, uh, some beef that we bought, co-op beef, and we, uh, we're actually using up some sausage we've had that's not our own. Uh, so anyway, and we're going to use the onion mix in it, and we're going to do stuffed peppers too. And so basically we'll have uh, onion uh, soup in it for flavor, cheeses, we're going to use, uh, I bought some uh, marinara sauce, uh, Anything else you can think of? Sure, he's sitting right here. Anyway, so what we're trying to do is, we're not giving up beef, we're not giving up meat and stuff, but we are kind of toning down our quantities. Um, the sweets, we are trying The to sweets, we gotta knock off, we're terrible. So, uh, uh, and we used, we know how to eat right. We've done it before. And uh, so, uh, we thought we'd share this with you a little bit about what are you eating every day? Is it balanced? Are you making sure you're eating a little breakfast, make a little lunch, a little balance yourself out? Are you staying away from sweets? When I drink coffee, I make sure I only use a half a teaspoon of sugar instead of what I used to do, a helping teaspoon of sugar in it. Little things like that, it adds up. So anyway, so today we're uh, uh, probably gonna only be able to do two peppers uh, in this here today mixing uh, beef and sausage together, uh, onion soup uh, mix, and uh, oh, probably a little salt and pepper here and there. And what else do you think? Onions in it and maybe yeah. some cheese. And we, uh, we also, we always keep uh, Walla Walla onions, we freeze dry our Walla Walla onions. So uh, we use these all the time. So um, when you see us raise so many Walla Wallas, this is how it turns out when we're done. We have jars of this stuff, and the Walla Wallas are good to cook and everything. So anyway, we thought we'd share that with you. It's a, our little personal uh, trail that we're trying to blaze here to just eat a little better. And uh, at this age, uh, when you eat better, you feel better for sure. So that's what we're working on. So anyway, uh, if I remember, I will try to show you kind of the end result of what this looks like. Uh, we're going to mix our hamburger up and then we're going to stuff our, uh, cut our peppers in half, stuff them with that. We might put a little cheese in there. And uh, it's real similar to if you guys watch uh, 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 Living Traditions, uh, she was making a stuffed pepper. Things. This is similar but not quite the same. So anyway, let's move on. All right, guys, just to follow up a little bit, um, I got two peppers I'm going to cook with. Um, I'm doing half peppers. Um, there's a several ways I could have cut this a lot differently, but uh, and then I had some a little bit left over from the tops and stuff, so we're gonna add that to our meat as we get ready to blend this. And uh, I'm using this type of marinara sauce, we might use a little bit more of a uh, oregano. I had to actually buy some more, might even add a little bit of bacon bits to it. Who knows? Anyway, so uh, this should be really kind of excited for dinner today, so uh, it should be delicious. Uh, we'll cook this with the meat in it at first, then after, uh, we will be adding cheese to our, our uh, beef, 
beef and uh, pork here. After that, and it's cooked, then we're gonna put the marinara sauce after, and then probably spread more cheese on top of that. And uh, so yeah, and finish cooking it that way. Yeah, it would be delicious. So there you go, guys. Well, I just got the pigs all fed and came back in. Uh, we got Shuri uh, starting to blend our stuff. We put mozzarella cheese in it, onions, onions, onion soup, salt and pepper, a uh, little bit of oregano. Peppers. We're gonna put, did you put your peppers in already? Mm -hmm. And so we got the chopped up peppers I had in there and uh, garlic. And I think that's about it. And uh, that should be plenty. Looks yummy. We're gonna stuff these pretty soon. We got our oven at 350. Don't know if that's too high or too low, but that's pretty standard. So uh, we'll get these cooked down. We'll use a thermometer to make sure we're at 165. And is it 165? I think so, yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and then we'll add our mozzarella sauce on there, some more cheese, probably mozzarella, and a little bit of a, uh, what's the other one? Parmesan cheese. And uh, yeah, should be delicious. All right, so we're starting to get these packed in a little bit. And uh, I think we're gonna put a little bit of marinara sauce at the beginning and add more at the end. Uh, one is to get more flavor into it, and two is kind of protect the bottoms from burning. And uh, yeah, I think that would be the way to go. Uh, we're not using a recipe, we're winging this. So <laughs> uh, we couldn't even tell you what the exact measurements are for everything. But uh, hey people, do this stuff, cook. The more you cook, the more you feel like, you'll feel more comfortable throwing things together because you know what you like. So yeah. Looking good. All right, so we told you we're gonna put a little sauce on the top of this here. So uh, we're, this sauce here, by the way, uh, we just did a little sample testing of it. Oh my gosh, it is delicious. Um, is that Mazetta? How do you say it? Mazetta? <laughs> Marinara sauce. <laughs> All no, right, yeah. the top. Yeah, close enough. So uh, yeah, super good sauce. So. She's putting just a little bit on there, kind of for flavor and stuff, but we will be putting more on when these are uh, at the end of the cycle. And we'll probably be adding uh, more sauce, more cheese, and probably that's it. And uh, probably run it for another five, 10 minutes after that. And uh, dinner's on. All right, I'm uh, wanting to make sure we follow up on this project we're doing. so. Our meat is now up to, we're cooking at 350 degrees in the oven. We're up to about 145, plus or minus. Uh, so now we're uh, putting another layer of sauce on here. We'll put cheese on. And yeah, we're gonna put cheese on top of that. But yeah, we're gonna sauce it up pretty good here. We're gonna let it cook for another seven to 10 minutes. Make sure we get up to a one six, close to 165. We don't have to be up there because uh, when you pull this stuff, it will continue cooking. So uh, yeah, we're excited. It's looking really good, Mom. So uh, yeah, we'll get some cheese on there and I'll let you see it. Um, French bread pizzas. <laughs> Ready to go back in the oven. We're gonna do probably another 10 minutes, check the temperature, and uh, it'll be ready for dinner. Well, guys, looks like we uh, these are done. Um, yeah, we just, just pulled it out, kind of letting it set a little bit, getting ready to serve them, and uh, we'll let you know how they like them. Well, we're at the dinner table, and uh, this is what our, looks like. How's yours look, Mom? You gonna taste it? Gonna cut it open and all right, we're gonna let Sherry cut it open and see, see what it looks like. Okay. Yum. Mm -hmm. So uh, for those of you guys like a lot of sauce and stuff, we actually brought the sauce with us. So if we wanna add more, we can. Um, you wanna do a little taste test for us? And then uh, let you know how it tastes. Be hot. Very hot. <coughs> uh, 
Well, she's pretty quiet. Good. The thumbs up? Thumbs up. We'll let. <laughs> no, that's all right. If it passes Sherry, it passes everybody. Anyway, uh, I want to wrap up the video here because I want to eat. <laughs> so please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate that. And uh, we're going to eat our dinner. And uh, I hope uh, that inspired you to try something new in the kitchen. So, anyway, guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye. So bye, Sherry. Bye. <laughs> This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.